Welcome to Paul Taggart's Elfin Chronicles and this behind the scenes feature in which we share some of the work that went into my illustrated storybook Webstrand the Tooth Gatherer. We just whip through these until we get to the first drawing really. So it'll be a total of three. Okay. That one and that one yeah. and that one. Right. Nothing on there. Um, Nothing on here because we're going to sort that later. That is going up, so it's just sort on this one. You want this one as a as the as the new technique, really. Yeah. So that it's sort of as is, isn't it, really? But yeah, but I think I know what I really like about it is mm. the blue hat and the yeah. blue boots. Yeah. Um, oh, no, that's fast. Yeah, that's great. Maybe I keep all that's, the colours. You know, if we decide that we're going to do that monochrome. Kind of geotone thing, but we lift some lift. colours. Yeah. So it'd be good to have blue boots and yeah. blue hat. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, it'll have more. It'll have more strength anyway because that's the purpose of redoing, isn't it? Have more darks and yeah. heavier. That's, that's fine. So, I mean, I so, can always manipulate. It. I mean, I can make the background greyer if you want. I, I mean, it's a pretty. Matter. It's a grey anyway, really, and, and the the pond can be a blue grey. So these will be grey. I think the flesh really should have a bit of colour because it'll look queer, if she, strange if she's grey. So I think I all of that. I actually wouldn't do grey. Hmm. Or if you're saying grey, but make it warm. Yeah, warm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because that's what's going to go yeah. into that kind of dark yeah. tan colour, really. Yeah, yeah. But she should have some warmth, and I think I the agree. flesh and she, yeah, right. So as is, but with the new. So I'll just put as is there. So yeah. that's right. So this is. The captain. Yeah, how many? Uh, do you only want the captain? Or you, I mean, for example, you've got the postie who who zooms up and could go. You know what I mean? Is oh, that's that? quite fun as well, isn't mm -hmm. it? You got Where the does that fall in the text over here? It falls. It falls off. Uh, falls right at the end of this. Jim the postman meets his, is here. Uh, yeah, Jim the postie. Yeah. We could. I mean, that could work quite nice up there, couldn't it? Yeah. So you could. We, so, so you want him again, but yeah. you want him walking into the shot, because yeah, I did him the other way. Yeah, around. so I flipped yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, as is, really, yeah. basically. And on this side, we have Jim the Posty. Yeah, flying up. Because he's doing that. So, doing at the bottom, perhaps running from the dog. Yeah. We have the dog there. Yeah, that worked nice. And him, sort of, he was pushing his way through the gate, wasn't he? Anywhere, basically. He could be pushing his way through the gate and looking over his shoulder as the dog comes up. And then we could just have the zoom 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 and he's up here somewhere. Yeah. That would make a nice yeah. linear thing, wouldn't it? Definitely. So posty. And then actually I might just move all of that to the next page. Twenty two. So that's right, and that's right, and then we're gonna add We all live in a world of scepticism, disbelief and doubt. But imagine, if you will, one filled with mystery and magic. Here, wishes can actually come true in a way you would hardly believe. Let me share with you the chronicle of an earthling who goes by the nickname Fizz, whose creative imagination and zest for life leads her on a remarkable journey. A journey which was to change her life forever, on which her guide was none other than Webstrand the Tooth Gatherer. Watch as I depict the story of Webstrand the Tooth Gatherer. Through my scene setting, original Masterworks oil paintings. And the many storytelling illustrations that capture this epic tale. 
and listen as this chronicle of a wondrous journey is told. Well spotted Fizz, Webstrand congratulated. Yes, it is an eye gem, but the flash doesn't develop until it's linked to its own special wearer. Owning an eye ring isn't just like wearing a piece of jewellery. It becomes the wearer's companion and can't be used by anyone else. And listen to the original musical soundtrack and soundscape that undulates through the good times and bad, the joy and horrors, the magical and real, the very essence of Webstrand the Tooth Gatherer. If, like Fizz, you also come to believe in Elfin and search carefully along a star's path, you may find what appears to be a small glowing ember in the undergrowth. But be on your guard, for once you start the search, it can soon become a quest. Uh, now we have the Sea Admiral here, and we need him walking into the into the page. I don't need to do another drawing for that. I can I can turn him around, and I'm going to put the parrot on his shoulder. That's easy to change. So I don't need any more for that. And then we have Jim the Postman. Uh, and that's why I turn up. I think I've got. Yeah. I've got a, a watercolour for him too. Again, I I like his legs on that. Much prefer the dog there. So we'll use a combination of those two. But again, I've got reference for those in my drawings or my paintings, so that's fine. So I don't need any more there for the for the postman. Welcome to our artist's first edition video storybook containing all nine chapters for streaming here on Patreon. We refer to this as the artist's first edition because the entire video storybook was created, filmed and produced by us in our own studio here in the Highlands of Scotland. This unique concept of our video storybook was inspired by the artistic interpretations of my original story and paintings by our fellow collaborators. Both Sunita in her captivating book design and our music director Lisa Mulholland in her exclusive compositions reflect the mood of the story as it unfolds from light beginnings through more challenging times until ultimately reaching an enigmatic finale of hope and future possibilities. We invite you to listen along with me as I personally read my unabridged original story accompanied not only by Lisa's evocative music which wends its way through the entire nine chapters, but also by my 20 masterworks, and the 116 vignettes, which are brought to life as I read from the pages of this video storybook. In the telling of the wondrous journey and epic tale that is the Elfin folklore, Webstrand, the Tooth Gatherer.
Welcome to my studio in the Highlands of Scotland. From where we bring you Paul Taggart's Elfin Chronicles. As a young child, I was a very solitary individual. I loved to play on my own, especially in my grandmother's garden. Part of the garden was cultivated, but the most of it was wild. And I loved walking through the long grasses and weeds and flowers that grew there. I remember those summer days chasing butterflies and searching for insects and frogs under stones and logs. At the bottom of this garden, the very bottom of the garden, there was a small rise. And once I was beyond this small rise, I was hidden from my grandmother back in the house. Just at the bottom of the rise was a small area of different grasses. The large grasses diminished and here was a swathe of fine green grass and it grew in a perfect circle. And I remember one day with the sun on my eyelids as I sat on that rise looking down on that grassy area, just closing my eyes for a moment and reopening them, there was a movement and I recognized it as a blue butterfly. I know there are blue butterflies everywhere, but there weren't any in my grandmother's garden. I knew that because I'd chased many a butterfly. There were cabbage whites, there were tortoise shells, red admirals, but I'd never seen a blue one there. So I was fascinated by it, but as I tried to focus my eyes on it, it disappeared. So I closed my eyes again and opened them just slightly and the blue butterfly came back. And I thought this was incredibly strange. So I kept my eyes half closed, pretending I was asleep. And I watched this butterfly flutter around and it was soon joined by another and then another. And they began to fly in a circle, a clockwise circle around this green swathe of grass. You may say, well, you're probably asleep. I had, after all, closed my eyes. But this was not the only occasion it happened. After that time, I, I went down to that spot again and again throughout the summer, and the blue butterflies came back. And soon, I became absolutely entranced by their magic. As an adult, I always wanted to capture the essence of this magic, which is how, in the mid-90s, I found myself bringing to life the mysterious creatures that are the Elfin. During the light of day, I would take up my brush and watercolour paints to work on a set of 18 unique illustrations that were enchanting me. As I painted, I became so engrossed that all other paintings and books were forsaken in order to free my imagination and allow me to concentrate on completing my first book in the Elfin Chronicles, in which I recount a particular legend involving the Elfin swarm leader Lacewing and an itinerant artist by the name of Artemis Glynn. However, it had always been my hope to set aside enough time to work on a collection of oil paintings with which to depict another significant event in Elfin history. We invite you to join me as I share with you my latest illustrated book from Paul Taggart's Elfin Chronicles. Webstrand, the Tooth Gatherer. Fast forward a few years later, and once more, the lure of the Elfin was too great to resist. I began work on another unique collection of masterworks oil paintings. 
which were to take me well over five years to create. As before, the elfin folklore of Webstrand the Tooth Gatherer took over my life. As I worked on these all important masterworks. The composition for each elfin portrait and scene setting painting was originally based on my first draft of the narrative. Soon, however, I found myself changing the interpretation of the story within these paintings as the world of Webstrand the Tooth Gatherer took hold. Ultimately, the developing paintings had an ever-changing influence on the story. Until both my paintings and the story reached a natural conclusion. But this was merely the completion of the first stage. We were now about to embark on the next exciting phase, for the book had to be designed. We had a million ideas to explore. Why not some dedicated elfin music? At the very least, the elfin song, which comes into the story. Our wish list was growing as we added special items. The studio was filling with examples of uniquely produced work by talented craftspeople. What if we filmed the work in progress to share online? So that people could peek behind the scenes at the various creative processes. And how about something else which is a little bit different, something unique to us? A new concept, something that reflects the work we've been doing online for many years. An illustrated audiobook, maybe. What about something more than that? Welcome to our artist's first edition video storybook, created, filmed and produced by us in our own studio here in the Highlands of Scotland. We invite you to listen along with me as I personally read through my unabridged original story, Webstrand, The Tooth Gatherer, available as a box set containing all nine chapters for streaming here on Patreon. Accompanied not only by Lisa's evocative music, which wends its way through the entire nine chapters, but also by my 20 masterworks, and the 116 vignettes, which are brought to life as I read from the pages of this video storybook. In the telling of the wondrous journey and epic tale that is the elfin folklore Webstrand, the Tooth Gatherer. This unique concept of our video storybook was inspired by the artistic interpretations of my original story and paintings by our fellow collaborators. Both Sunita in her captivating book design and our music director, Lisa Mulholland, in her exclusive compositions, reflect the mood 
of the story as it unfolds from light beginnings through more challenging times. Through the swarm kept to the wing, swirling in colours all around her, she realised why. They were calling their farewells. But this was more than a call, it was a song. Although she understood not a word, its meanings were unmistakable. It was a song of friendship, of things done together, and of things yet to come. Faster moved the kaleidoscope of colourful wing, and then, on a rush of air, the swarm re-entered the corridor as one. And was gone. Time seemed to retrace its steps. Here was the same fizz as before. Well, perhaps a little changed. Sitting on our bed in the gloom of the same night on which they had left. Welcome to our artist's first edition video storybook. We invite you to listen along with me as I personally read through my unabridged original story, Webstrand, The Tooth Gatherer, available as a box set containing all nine chapters for streaming here on Patreon.